Hey man, what's up? Boop, 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 boop. To my f in the building. Okay. So, like, what's up, my guys? How are you guys doing? It's been a rocky road for me. As you can probably tell by the way I've been uh, uploading. Absolute dormant, right? My channel's been dormant. But I've come here today to let you know the score, to tell you guys what's going on. I'm going to keep it brief because these videos could be hours long for what's been going on in my life anyway. But basically, as you may or may have not knew, I came out of priest uh, I came out of prison uh, not too long ago for the train jump that I did years ago where I jumped off the train into water so basically a DLR uh, train and that caught up with me like three three years uh, down the line something that the courts messed up with on their end where they didn't get in contact with me and they didn't tell me what was going on and they just basically hid it away from me for a very long time until I got caught taking photos on a roof and then my name got, I had a deep check so I was getting checked before but they weren't doing clean thorough checks but this police officer decided to do that and this case come up like three years ago from me jumping off the train so I had to go to court, deal with all that and then get sentenced as I was standing there they were just reading out my sentences and stuff. I was going to be in there for 12 weeks. And because they said on, they apologized on their behalf for messing up and not reaching out to me, they cut the sentence down to four weeks. And the judge just said, yeah, we're sentencing you, Ricky, uh, four weeks imprisonment. And I was just like, whoa, okay, then this is really new to me. My life's about to change a little bit. Um, I kind of swallowed that, didn't really say much and just went straight to prison. One of the weirdest places, one of the crazy, most negative, just disgusting place I've ever been. But it's like God put me through that to just show me like how bad life can be and where, where you don't want to end up. And Lord just kind of put me in the pits of hell basically, just to just kind of let me experience how bad life can be if you just carry on with all of this chaos and this destruction basically. But. Yeah, that happened to me and then I come out and my mind was just bamboozled. Like I just didn't know how to feel, think or do. And I looked at YouTube. YouTube obviously felt weird to me. Everything was just not really going in my way. And I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna just leave everything alone and just focus on my family and just focus on my actual real life. So I did that. And I just kind of just found my way back through to music, which I was already playing with back in the day. I was playing around with music with my boy Callum, shout out Callum if you're watching this, my bro. And it just kind of swooped back in and then I made a couple of these songs, but there was this one song that I'm working on right now that really, really gave me a boost of like, wow, I can actually do this and I, I can do whatever I want. But in my life, I've failed with consistency. So as you guys probably know, he's making videos and he's not. And then, do you know what I mean? Like I've, I've struggled with consistency for a long time and I break it now. Do you know what I mean? Like I had a problem making videos for you guys because I wanted to be an artist, but then you, how can an artist be a YouTuber? And I was just trying to, I was battling those two ideas together. But then I just thought, nah, I'm not gonna battle these thoughts anymore. I wanna bring out videos for you guys because I feel like for me, my soul, is for, for my heart, it's important to spread messages, positive mindsets, you know, just constantly spreading joy across the planet because the world flipping needs it at times like these. So I thought, I knew I carried that energy and I'm just wasting it now. I needed that break away to realize that I can literally just do anything I wanted to do without even contemplating it. Just get it done and just do it. And the people will thank you for it. And you will thank yourself. Because I'm not the type of guy to be sitting dormant. It kills my it kills my spirit. I can't be sitting doing anything. But I just had to go through these phases. And Carl, I've been through a lot of stuff. Like we've, even my personal life, I feel like I need to share this with some of you. Because some of you are probably going through the same same struggles. I may look like this and I may look cool and happy and stuff, but I'm re I've really gone through struggles. Like we've had no, we've had no money. 
We've had no food in the cupboard. People have had to help us. Families had to help us and stuff. I've really struggled these past couple of years, like trying to figure out what I want to do in my life and sitting dormant's not going to do anything for me. And you know, I realized that I can't let go of this YouTube channel. I can't let go of none of it, no matter how many uh, rocks are thrown at me, no matter how many struggles are thrown my way. I can't stop this stuff. I can do music, I can be an artist, and I can also vlog and spread that artistry all over the walls, all over YouTube, everywhere I go, man, my spirit, my soul's still alive on this planet. Why will I stop all this stuff? And I just had to sit there and just contemplate for a bit. But I couldn't do it for too long, do you know what I mean? Because I would have been gobbled up by the gobbler. But yeah, this, this is my, my room, like, I'm chilling, this is my computer's over there and stuff, and I just don't want to waste anymore. But that's where I've been, I've just been contemplating, working on my music, figuring out ideas and stuff, and I'm not gonna give too much away because you know what I mean, the enemy's out there. And yeah, I've gone through a lot of things, a lot of processes and feelings and stuff, and there's one person I wanna talk about right now, and that is Jesus. Throughout all my struggles, I managed to come to an end point, and that was Jesus. And in those prison cells and stuff, came this like, just picture this, this beautiful presence of joy, happiness and healing just came over me in my prison cell. You know how they say it, like everyone experiences God in his prison cells for some reason. But I literally did. And it was like this angel kind of grabbed over my hands as I was just begging, like I need this pain to stop. Cause I've gone through it. Like us boys really did make those videos and go through a lot of pain for people's entertainment. And I've gone through this experience too many times now, so I was just in there praying. Didn't even know I was going to prison at the time. I was in the cell before. And I was praying, I was praying, I was praying. I was just like, I needed some sort of relief, some stress relief. And this blue angel looking thing comes out of the wall, comes down over to me. Honest to God, guys, I wouldn't, I'm not joking. And puts its hands over my hands out of, in a ball like this, praying. And it kind of like, I start crying and it's like pulling all this pain out of my heart and it's pulling it all out and it's like basically saying you're it's okay Ricky it's okay you know and it was just pulling all this pain out of my heart you know heartbreak people friendships life everything was just weighing on me and it's like it pulled the weight of the world off of me and I just could not believe it I was just like in in tears thanking him and stuff and then later on I just built an, uh, a relationship with the guy called Jesus, like it's really real. And I started building my relationship towards God and I just thank him for being, for making me strong for all of these times, bro, because honestly, it's been crazy for me. Really, really crazy for me, loads of things. And I just kind of found the presence of God. I stepped into the presence of God and I couldn't be so more, I couldn't be any more thankful. And yeah guys, absolutely wonderful, like, I'm full blown about Jesus and God, like I really am about that. And if that puts you off the channel, man, go for it, leave, I don't care. I just want positivity, art, creativity, and I want to throw away all the grey. I don't want any of that coming over to my colours, do you feel me? And um, that's what this channel's about and stuff. And just make sure you look out for my music because I really, really love my music and I want you guys to endure that positivity, that vibe that I'm giving off. So I just wanna say thank you for all the guys that started with me, thank you for the guys that are joining, and thank you for the people that still stay with me and support my life. But I can only give it to all, I can only give it all to God, because he, without him, none of this could ever, ever happen. And I'm just so thankful, so stay blessed guys. God bless you all, and I hope every video that you watch now gives you that joy that you deserve. So see you guys later. I will be making more videos, vlogs, chats, talks, music. It's all there. Love, peace.